and welcome to the biggest race of the world, the Indy 500, expecting 250, 300,000 spectators. It's going to be a huge event, 200 laps of 2.5 miles. I'm still very new on ovals, but um, we did the Indy Open test and I felt pretty good. The car is getting where I want it to be. If you think it's easy, you get it wrong. Absolutely wrong. Oval is actually very complicated. And even though on TV it looks like it's easy and it's straightforward, when you drive the car, it's a full different story. But let me take take you through the lap. Let's let's go and see what it does. Alright, on to the pit lane. So first thing you need to know about Indy is that the pit lane is 60 miles an hour, almost 90 kilometers per hour. Uh, it is a much faster pit lane than anywhere else. Um, but I don't see any red lights, so let's go. In qualifying, you can go straight on the track here, but then during the race, obviously, you take the uh, pit exit line. It is it is tricky because the car wants to turn on its own on the left, so you actually fight the rear quite a bit. There we go. Out of turn two, look at the third gear. 300 kilometers an hour, first gear, third gear, fourth, six, six, four, I missed the turning point. Okay, that's, uh, that's the rear bar. I'm gonna go sit on the rear bar. I'm gonna push the way jack here a little bit to the left. There we go. So the four corners that Indy The four corners at Indy 500 are exactly the same, uh, but they all look different. So turn two right here, when you are when you're beginning, you know, when you're learning about it, the first one you're going to flat out. Then it's going to be turn four. Then it's going to be turn three, and then it's going to be turn one. Even though they have the same radius, they have got the same banking, they have got the same width. They all feel. Oh, that's that's a lot for washout. That's not good. Soft on the front bar, yeah, that's better. Uh, they all feel different. So that main straight here, uh, super impressive, 360 kilometers an hour, 240 miles, and then you had to turn one, and you really have to pick up your, um, your turning point. It's too much on the steel setup. Turn two, don't do that in real life. That would be a very bad afternoon. Keep your foot. Put on downshift fifths. Um, there's few techniques to know when it's time to downshift, but there's also you feel in the car, right? You feel if the engine is, is dropping in at the end, where you're in the corner, if you're gonna put more load or not on it, and what's gonna be the best way to do it. Uh, when you're on your own, it's fairly straightforward, I would say, but when you're behind other cars, then it gets very, very challenging because you know, you go in the corner at 300. 240 miles an hour, whatever that is, kilometers an hour, and really close two tenths, three tenths behind the car in front of you. And if you start washing out, meaning you've got the front end going um, because you lose the front, the, the air on the front wing, it is a very bad feeling. So there's, there's all a knot and technique of how to lift off in entry or before the corner to make sure that you're on the right distance before the corner, and then you can go flat through the corner and get the good momentum out of the corner. The key is always having the right momentum. If you don't have that, it's very complicated to start losing position. In the race, to let the guy behind you know, know that you're gonna pit on the next lap, what you do, you come quite hard on the inside. You weave in and out quite hardly to let him know that you gonna pit on the next lap because obviously going into those corners especially turn four you need to prepare your pit entry right you cannot completely exit full on the right no you're never gonna make it oh that was far too fast into the pit so yes there are there are a lot of small tricks in indy that you need to know uh there is that feeling into the traffic knowing how your car's gonna react, where you can position it, how you can position it, how you can play with your roll bars and the weight jacker. 
the way Jacker uh, puts more or less some weight on the outside front right tire more weight on the outside front right tire more understeer less weight less understeer right so it's about playing with that playing with your bars finding where you can put your car and make sure that you uh, stay away from the wall make sure that you keep the momentum going out of the corner because if you lose it then you know you're gonna lose three four five six position in one straight and it is very very difficult to recover from there I hope that give you a, a good insight of the ovals I know from Europe we look at it and sometimes we think as I say it's easy and it's boring it is absolutely not it's amazing it's really fun it's uh, yeah it's a lot of thing but it's not boring